That's going to Dr. Zorba, Pastor. It's taking your calls at 270-9933. Hello, Zorba. Hi, how are you? Now you've got it right. You've got my name right, so we're yeah, here. Yeah. So new studies out about uh, belly fat and diabetes. Right, right. And, uh, and this is an issue that we've been discussing for quite some time. If you've got fat around your belly, you're more likely to develop diabetes, you're more likely to develop heart disease, you're more likely to have problems with cholesterol and so on. And so it's not just how heavy you are, it's actually where the fat actually is. And there's some theories around that have to do with how the fat actually affects cholesterol metabolism and how the cholesterol metabolism then affects producing cor uh, coronary artery disease but I think the take-home message from this is if you are a typical Wisconsin especially a Wisconsin male and you've got more fat around the belly and you've not been tested for either diabetes or high cholesterol now is your time to go in to get tested and now is also the time to look at that belly and not just slap it as I see a lot of guys in my office and say yeah it feels really good I'm I feel good and, and be proud of it. Now is the time to look at it and say, how can I take off that weight? And it's a very interesting study because once again, it shows that belly fat is a major risk factor for problems that can occur in your life. So belly fat as opposed to like, what, fat around your but, waist. Buttock fat. That's there, right. there you go. No, the fat That's in the buttock. Term. The fat in the buttock is, is not, is the buttock <laughs> is, the, is the medical term. Fat, fat in the buttock is not the same as fat in the belly. All right, we and a... don't ask me to spell buttock, <laughs> but I think I can. Let's go to Dale in Wanakee. Hi, Dale. Hey there. How can we help? Yeah, I kind of muscles that kind of burn between my shoulder blades and my mm -hmm. back. Uh huh. Sure. What does it bother you? What do you do that brings it on? Well, it's been there for about three weeks. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, what do you do for a living? You exercise. What do you do with your body? Just exercise, otherwise I'm a printer. Mm -hmm. So, well, one of the things you can do whenever you've got uh, pain or discomfort in the back, go to the web, go to YouTube, and look up back exercises. Great way, non-pharmacological way to really treat it. You can look at stretching exercises for those shoulders. You can look at, there are a number of things that you can do, and I think YouTube is so much better because you can actually see people doing it. If you do YouTube, make sure you look, you write down stretching exercises, upper back, physical therapy, and up will pop something that can be very, very useful. The other thing occasionally to use is ibuprofen. Two tablets or three tablets, three times a day can help, especially at night, because it can help you sleep. All right, That's who's on line one? Can you show me that? No. Because the caller, line three is not available to us. Sue in Montello, hi, what's your question? Uh, yes, my mother was taking Flozomax. Mm hmm Fosamax, And she right. for reacted from it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stomach reaction or what she have? No, now she has like pain in her muscles. Mm -hmm. So she quit mm -hmm. taking it. Is there anything more she can like get over the counter? Well, the first thing about Fosamax, Fosamax, if that's what she had, is a drug that we use for osteoporosis. Doing exercise, especially exercise like walking on a treadmill or just walking make, can make a big difference. Making sure you have enough calcium that you're eating, 1,500 uh, milligrams of calcium a day if you've got oste osteoporosis is really the thing to do. And then there's some other medications she can use. Muscle aches are usually associated with drugs such as Lipitor and Simvastatin that are drugs for cholesterol. So you're going to want to talk to her doctor and her pharmacist to make sure she's not in other drugs that might be causing muscle aches. All right. Good advice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for calling. Zorba, thank you. Thank you. Great to be here. Good to see you, Zorba. Thanks so much. We'll see you next Good time. To see you guys.